Hi, I'm Mary from the Hickory Corner Branch. I'm a librarian, not a professional painter, but I'm taking this on as a do-it-yourself project, and you can too. Watch the video. Hi, I'm Mary from the Hickory Corner Branch, and today I'm going to show you how to prepare a wall for painting. So first I'll give you our list of items that we'll need to do this. I have a glove, and mask, a lightweight hammer, painter's tape, putty knives, I have two here, spackling glue, a sanding block, and paper towels. So the first thing you want to do is inspect the entire wall for depressions or imperfections. And one thing you'll most likely find is nails that are protruding just a bit. So I have inspected this wall and I've marked a spot where I have a protruding nail. Um, normally the wall would be full of blue painter's tape, letting you know where those protruding nails are. And I'll show you just how you're going to go at this protruding nail with a light touch. You don't want to cause a depression in the wall. You just want the nail to be flush with the wall. And I'm feeling with my bare hand to see if it's now flush. One more shot, I think. Okay, now it's flush, but now it's also an imperfection. So I'm going to use my, my spackling glue on my putty knives and get a little bit, it should be soft and pliable. I have about that much on the putty knife, which I'm going to now smear on the imperfection. And then I use the putty knife to cover the imperfection and then make sure that it's completely flush. Now that will take about half an hour to dry, maybe an hour to dry if it's a damp day out. Let's leave this spot and go to a spot that has been drying for a while. And now I'm going to use my sanding block. This is rough, that's why I'm wearing a glove. And normally I would put my mask on at this point so as not to breathe in the dust that will be created. But for the purpose of this video, I'll forego the mask. And you're just going to give it a light touch. And then test again with your bare hand. Okay, this feels smooth to me. At this point, if I felt any depression, I would try again with the putty knife and spackling glue, but it feels perfectly flush to me. So I'm going to say that this spot is done. After I do this with all of my protruding nails and any depressions, I will go back over the wall with a damp paper towel and just lightly remove any dust that's on the wall. And once you've done this with the entire wall, you're ready to paint. Have a great day.